there's two lasers pointing out at where the telescope is looking and it's creating a fake star there. The Earth's atmosphere causes the twinkling of stars because all the Earth's atmosphere has this turbulent packets of warm air and then cold air and highly dense and then lower dense. So the light is gonna is gonna start moving around before it gets to your detector. Interacting with the atmosphere on its way to the whatever exactly. you're capturing it with. Yeah, exactly. And so and so the resulting disk of your point source, let's say if you're trying to look at a star, it's gonna be 25 to 50 times worse than that theoretical limit, okay? And so what we can do is we can do something called adaptive optics. Mm. We can correct by making a fake star. Here what you're seeing is the Keck telescope, mm -hmm. and there's two lasers pointing out, and it's creating a fake star there. The uh, trick is the following. You've got a fake star that looks like any other star, yeah. but we know that it came from our laser, so yeah. it should be stationary. Right. Then the laser is going through the same bit of atmosphere that the starlight is coming in. Mm -hmm. So if I can mm -hmm. change, if I have some kind of deformable mirror, right, that is taking that starlight and right in the middle, I have like little ways in which I can yes. change the shape of that mirror yes. in order to keep that laser stationary, stationary. that's going to cancel out the effects of that column of the atmosphere. Makes makes total sense. Right. I, I, the point you're saying is because we have a, a fixed point from the lasers in the sky that we can then measure and basically remove the impacts of the atmosphere on how we're detecting the other stars because we have a fixed point that we control. Yes. That then can remove the noise that comes from the atmosphere. Exactly. And here what we're seeing is the center of our Milky Way mm -hmm. in infrared. Mm -hmm. On the left is without adaptive optics and on the right is with adaptive My optics. My goodness. You can see the so, huge change. So this is why, this is how Andrea Ghez won the Nobel Prize. This is crazy. If you're looking at something called Sagittarius A star mm -hmm. and the stars around that compact object. Mm -hmm. And if we were to make a movie out of this, you'd see all of the stars going around, mm. around an invisible point, mm. right? And yeah. that invisible point, point is our supermassive black, black hole. hole.